hey everyone welcome to the tech channel it's been a long time i didn't upload a video i'm sorry for this today we have a special video it's a package over here that was sent me by seed studio they were too kind to offer me a coupon and then i had to choose some product like i did the last time you can check the videos in the link right below i have received before two products one uh, which is a voice recognition module and the other one is light detection sensor so sorry i already opened the package and checked the items over there so the packaging is always all right a lot of bubble wrap and here are the products i received so those are the four products i received so here we have a Seedwino Nano, it's like an Arduino Nano, but it's by Seed Studio. The packaging is always nice. Here we have a Groove module, it's a water atomizer or water atomization, like here, water atomization module. It creates a mist from water. And here we have another Groove module, it's an FM receiver. And here we have a triple color e-ink display so i'm going to try to make videos about each of these modules but today we are about silvino nano and the grove water atomization module so the two products that we're gonna use today are silvino nano board and the groove water atomization module and of course we're gonna make product out of them using other modules too so for the moment let's open the product here we have the Seedwino Nano the package is nice and here we have the little board So this is the Seedwino Nano, it has a Type-C USB connector, you can use a Type-C USB cable and then it has one Groove connector that uses I2C. It's directly connected to 5 volt ground and SDA and ECL and the pinouts are exactly like the Arduino Nano, the only difference is the mini USB and the micro USB, the power is the same. 5 volt from the cable or you can use 7 12 volt if powering from ground and v in and for the other products we're gonna use is the groove water atomization module and here in the package it's always included with a sticker that tells you what the module does and some project ideas also the supply voltage and the max power and here we have the module itself with its heating probe, if you can call it like that it heats the water using ultrasound and here we have a Groove cable so the Groove water atomization module is a great module for humidifier project if you want to create your own humidifier or you can create a scent dispenser device so here we have our board it's in a breadboard and I forgot to say that the pins are already soldered which is nice and they are mal pins so it's a breadboard friendly and here we have our USB cable it would be nice if the product include a USB cable with it but it doesn't well it's not a problem the USB type C is getting popular lately so the first thing we should do is to install our board it's very simple just plug it in the computer so the first thing you should do is go to file preferences and of, co and of course this is in the Arduino IDE just go here and add the last link I will of course provide the link in the video description or in the earth article project article this is the last one and this is exactly how you add the ESP32 package or the ESP8266 package this is the last one it add all the seed boards press ok 
okay then you go to tools boards boards manager and you wait the download a little bit and here you write seed automatically you get seed wino avr so this is here seed wino avr and here you press install install the latest version of course and here you will go to board and it's already selected and you can look for it if you don't have it so here we have Seduino Nano and of course don't forget the port so I'm using the COM5 for this one that's it and you upload the code so that's it the linking code is uh, functioning And of course the board came with the blinking, bo blinking code on it, sorry. You can modify it if you want to check really if it works or no. Since we don't have an error, it works well. So I'm just making the delay a little bit. And it's working well. So that's it how to use the Seedwino Nano. So and now we're gonna use the Groove Water Atomization module. First we're gonna test it and second we're gonna make a project of a humidifier out of it using DHT11 it's a temperature and humidity sensor I've used it before and I'll use an OLED to show the humidity so here we are in the product page of the water atomization module and here we have some pictures of it as usual there's also dimensions of the module and here there's a project I'm gonna try to make uh, something like this of course few information about or all the information about the module and here we have again the wiki page of that module and how to use it and what's important in this page is there's a caution do not touch those pins it's pretty much high voltage also the injector don't touch it and try not to touch the sensor and as you can see in the picture there is a no touch sign so it's a little bit dangerous and of course you have a project out of it and there is some example on how to use it that's very simple and we're gonna see it right now so here I connected the ultrasound unit with the module and here I plugged my groove cable and it uses 3 pins out of 4 is ground and 5 volt the other one is not used and then last one is enabled and I'm gonna plug it on the Seduino Nano using the groove cable it's very fast and of course here I'll be using ground VCC then the other one is not connected and the last one will be used with A5 you're gonna see it in the code and of course all the schematics and codes will be in the link right below so here to create mist you should have something with water on it like a recipient and as i read in the wiki it's recommended to add a little paper towel on it on this water just like this and put the unit over it and upload the code and power the arduino see the wind. so this is the first code I'll be using it's very simple I identified the i5 as the atomizer it enables it or disables it and then it works for 3 seconds and it go off another 3 seconds upload the code I have you can see the mist so this is it it goes for three seconds and then off you can keep it permanently if you want just don't forget don't touch the module on the bottom or on the top and that's a nice way to humidify your room so now let's move on to our other project it's a humidifier and it measures the ambient humidity and it tries to keep it uh, to another to a certain value that you can choose 
so this is my project it's wired and I hope you can see the modules some of them are out of focus and other things are out of angle but that's not a problem and I repeat it again there's a schematic in the link right below the full schematic and of course the full codes are always free and available to use and we have DHT11 which is a humidity and temperature sensor it detects the current humidity of this room and if it's below like our uh, set point the atomizer starts working and start humidifying our room it's very simple the level you set it from the code as I can show it right now so this is the code it's very simple here we have the DHT library we used that before with our DHT 11 or 22 and here we have our OLED libraries Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD1306 and here I identified my atomizer as uh, pin number 3 I'm not using the A5 here because the I2C is used with the OLED screen here we have our um, DHD pin in 2 it requires only one pin and then its type I'm using 11 DHD 11 those things are for the OLED we saw them before here I'm declaring the DHT begin and all of the things we know them the code is very easy I'm reading the humidity and the temperature and I'm showing them on the screen on the OLED screen and of course if the humidity is below a level that I can set from here the atomizer start working here atomizer high otherwise it will stop like the humidification of the room and here I've chosen 70 I know it's a little bit big you can use whatever value you want and of course you can calibrate your module I didn't calibrate my one I know that 70 is a very high also it's detecting approximately 60 which is very high pretty much high too so here I will power my Seedwino and here as you can see I have the temperature and the current humidity of this room and as long as it's below 70 as I set it it will print here on and the atomizer will be on until it reaches that value so we wait a little bit and of course if it becomes equal or higher to 70 it will stop automatically you can of course improve your codes to avoid those uh, oscillations so that's it for this project I hope you like it all the codes and schematics are in the links right below with the products links also and thanks again to Seed Studio for sending me this uh, product and I'm sorry for being late to upload this video so that's it if you have any question you can contact me don't forget to subscribe like if you want and see you next time